You all can say leaf, lot, or loop. But can you also say feel, tall, or pool? Perhaps you think you can. But are you really sure that you're producing a true so-called dark L in these words? Or do you say feel, tall, or pool like you do in German? If this is so, then let's do something about it. The problem is that the dark L that we need in words such as feel is not an allophone of the L phoneme in German. German has an L phoneme, but in all positions we produce a clear or palatalized L allophone. For example, in feel and leaf. Thus, many Germans only use the clear L when they speak English. So, what can we do about this? Well, mainly practice the dark L. First, in isolation and then in context. As a starting point, we've got to develop a feeling for our tongue position, which looks like this. So, let's move from a clear L to a dark L using L between two vowels. And here we go. Allah, 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 Allah. Again, Allah, 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 Allah. Can you feel how the back of your tongue is raised when you articulate Allah? If you can, that's fine, and you should now produce words that contain a dark L, that is, words where the L follows a vowel. Here we go. Peel, pale, pal, pull, pool, pearl, and so on. And, by the way, we should not forget words that contain a so-called syllabic L, as in bottle, rattle, or poodle. They also involve the dark L. Well, and for those of you who know Cologne, and the Colonian or Ripuarian variety of German, what's the favorite type of beer in Cologne? Well, it's Kölsch which tastes well but also exhibits a dark L in this variety of German. Again, Kölsch. Okay, I hope my advice helps and you will no longer find it difficult to produce present-day English words with a post-vocalic or a syllabic L.